Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel in another video. I had realized that I have not done an open cup in a very long time. So, the idea behind this open cup is I'm going to have half the canvas black, half the canvas white, the base coat, and then have this cup with this array of colors here, trying to create multicolored cells in the white and black. So, that is what we're doing today. Let me get this stuff off the canvas and I will start getting my base coat down. All right, so the colors that we got in today's pour is this aqua green, this turquoise color, we have this violet and phthalo blue. And I'm really hoping that I get some really cool white contrast with these colors. I do want to say a huge thank you to you guys. I just hit 10,000 subscribers yesterday. So thank you guys so much because there's no way that would have happened without you. So let's get this thing started. Let's have a little fun. Let's make a happy little mess, you know? So this is mixed with Floetrol and some of that coconut oil hair serum to help create cells. But I think it's going to look pretty cool. As you see, I'm pouring it from a little bit higher up, letting those colors kind of churn through each other. I really like these cups too because they're just heavy enough to where I have to release the paint or it can't get out, which is, makes me happy. So how are you guys doing this wonderful day? I just recently got back from a trip to um, Daytona Beach, Florida, kind of taking a little break and unwinding. It's a much needed break, but I'm back and ready to create some more because this is super exciting to me. All right, so we know that there's silicone in there. I'm gonna use the heat gun to kind of activate some of that silicone, push it through the surface. Now I didn't use that much silicone. I only used one to two drops, y'all. You don't really need much. A little goes a very long way. You know, as per my usual, I may or may not have used entirely too much paint, but that is kind of the trend with me, y'all. And every time that I move the cup like that, I'm gonna hit it with this torch. Kind of try to A, pop some bubbles, B, kind of get some of those cells to start pushing their way through so they continue to grow and expand while we are putting the colors down. It's looking pretty cool already. I like this kind of milky, it's almost like a galaxy. Really nifty looking. Now the cells are all starting to crop up on their own, huh? Okay. That's really cool looking. Right. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm even getting kind of a similar effect to when I used Minwax with my pores. Getting these crazy little cells within cells like multiple cells within a single cell. Really cool looking. It has been so long since I've done any kind of canvas art. Which is 
just makes me happy. There we go. Alright, let's see. Now we still got a lot of stuff going on. So, first I'm gonna just tilt it to the corner. I wanna bring some of that black right here over because it's hasn't quite pushed down over on, on the uh, edge yet. There we go. And then I can bring it back around. I want to keep some of that white and black negative space. As you can see, I have a lot of paint still on this canvas. Let me find a clean finger so I don't too much of this up. Basically just covering the edges so that the paint will have an easier time rolling over the side. Then we'll bring some of this back to the middle. This looks so cool. I like this a whole lot. Let me hit this thing with a torch again. Because now that we've gotten some of that paint off the surface, the layer is thinner, so it should be able to make even more cells. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. That's crazy looking right there. What? What is going on? I am noticing that I have a little bit of white here that needs to get covered on the side, but we can fix that. There we go. Beautimous. I'm liking it. Those cells just continue to grow too. I only used one drop of silicone in these colors you don't want to put too much. If you put too much, it tends to break the cells. Well, dang. That is so cool. These like multicolored little cells within them. I like that a lot. Well, I'm going to bring you guys down so you guys can get a better look at this, but I am over the moon about this. I love this a lot. This is really cool looking. This thing came out so cool. Absolutely love the negative space on all four of the corners. And there's some spots that have wicked cells within cells. It's just beautiful. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.